1974. Guys, I'm Ken Kaplan. You probably already know I own the New England Motorcycle Museum across the street. And I've had more kick-ass Pentons and vintage KTMs probably than anybody else uh, on the East Coast in the last 10 years. And this one is an absolute diamond. Um, I never was a normal kid. I, I had a messed up sleeping patterns. I, I usually wake up around midnight and I couldn't fall asleep. And uh, we had a, a room set up right next to our bedroom, my brother and I. Uh, that I could go into it was actually an oversized closet and I had all my dirt bike magazines in it I remember in the, reading the 1970s 74 dirt bike magazine and seeing these jack piners in there in the, the little the little 125 and, and 100 cc pentons and I had a Yamaha GT80 and I could only dream look at the profile of this thing show them the quarter view here and show show them the profile of this thing because the magazines had photos like from the back quarter and I would just look at it and go wow what a machine this is what the rich kids had you know I'm, we were far from rich. I was super grateful my brother and I could share that GT80. I can only dream of someday having a bike like this. And if you're from my era, I'm 58 years old. I was born in 65. We used to read dirt, but there was no internet. So dirt, with dirt biker, motocross action, dirt rider, that was it. And when they came out, I'd tatter those magazines. And when I couldn't sleep at night, I'd look at them. And I remember reading the uh, Rick Simon, super hunky, his column. You really should have known, right? You'd ask the question, you know, so you really should have known. But, um, what a diamond and, and these things were they set the standard in the early 70s and up to today at the side of the engine there's a clue that says ktm on it uh ktm was building these for john penton in the united states of america and eventually they bought john john out and changed the name from penton to ktm and if you look at the rear here this thing has been frame up restored it was a, a good low hour original that was frame up restored and they salvaged the original seat cover a portion of it to put it on the new seat cover that's the original Penton KTM logo uh, the Jack Piner 175 is an ic iconic machine look at it from the side view right here like straight on the, the ergonomics of it are just right the double down tube cradle frame the huge oversized cylinder this bike's been completely restored from the frame up stripped right down to the frame the frame was repainted in an automotive quality finish the engines have been completely rebuilt from the crank seals up uh, new piston and rings. Uh, it's been upgraded to the Makuni carburetor. The original exhaust is really nice. Even has the original heat shield on here. The original factory fuel tanks in mint shape. This is the original leather strap on the top and the original aluminum ga gas cap. Um, again, seat covers are redone. All the painted surfaces have been repainted. These are the original bars. But they're absolutely remarkable. The original headlight still works and it looks like in mint condition. It has a new front fender, new front fork boots. The fork lowers, the aluminums have been polished. The original chrome rims are in excellent condition, and the 300 by 21 tire has 90% tread on it. Um, it's been on the machine for a while, so it's got a little dry checking, but uh, it looks like new, as does the rear. The chain and sprockets are new on it. Now look at the shocks. This is These weren't available back in the day. These are light years better. Late 70s uh, works performance came out. I had them on my 79. RM 125. I don't think they were available in 74, but what an upgrade. These work shocks are light years better than the stock one. Check out the fit and finish of the aluminum chain gu gu guide here and how much thought was put into this and how heavy duty everything is. These were made for the Jack Piner Enduro where they were flogged for uh, hours and hours off road. New rear fender. You can see the rear uh, rim has been relaced with new spokes, as has the front rim. New brake pads. Uh, mechanically, this bike is a 10. It is absolutely perfect, six speed. Um, if you've been looking for a classic pet and add to your collection, I got a lot of friends that work at KTM. This would look awful nice in, in the corporate headquarters as a uh, uh, hallmark to the quality of your motor. Sorry, Ron. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, the uh, the, um, the uh, original kickstand is intact, which is pretty remarkable, as is the brake stay. Uh, and brake lever, the original shifter, kicker. Look at the engine cases, they're like brand new. They're completely refinished. Um, the original aluminum guard here, the mud guard is intact. Check out the bottom of the motor. I always say, check out the bottom of an engine, especially an enduro bike. Look at the condition of these frame rails, guys. These are California frame rails. These have never been batched off the Eastern rocks and ruts and the original aluminum guard doesn't even have a ding in it. Beautiful piece, you'd be hard, the, the original Airbox rubber boot is nice and pliable. This bike's been on display here in the museum for about four years and uh, it's coming up for sale. So um, if you're looking for a world-class Penton Jack Piner to add to your collection, look no further. This one's a diamond. If you have any questions about it, give us a call 860-454-7024. Super comfy bike, nice comfy seat, 
hey, I'm 58 years old. I had back surgery in 2017. I don't want to ride an old bike with shitty suspension. Having a nice set of works performance shocks, a nice comfy seat, the big bars up high. This is a bike I could ride all day and enjoy it. And if it gets dark out, you got a headlight on it so you can make it home. You're going to be hard pressed to find a nicer one, man. This one's Kaplan America approved. Original dual exhaust. Look at that. Guys, this bike's 50 years old and it's in freaking pristine condition. You're not going to find a nicer one. Y'all know the deal.